Can you really have an allergic reaction to hair dye? Well, the short answer is yes, anyone can have an allergy to hair dye. Many hair dyes contain ingredients that can irritate your skin or cause an allergic reaction. Now, it's important to be aware of this risk as well as know what to do if you do have an allergic reaction. And in this video, we're going to cover why some people are sensitive to hair dyes, ways to try and avoid an allergic reaction, signs and symptoms of a reaction, plus treatment options, and finally, when you should seek help from your own healthcare provider. So why are some people sensitive to hair dye? Well, some people have got more sensitive skin than others, and they're prone to a skin reaction that's called contact dermatitis. This is where the skin comes into contact with a substance that can irritate it. This means their skin may become red, dry, scaly, bumpy, blistered, or irritated when they come into contact with the irritant. And you can see some examples of this in the following photos. Now, whilst you may be aware that some people have got allergic reactions to things like latex gloves or makeup, something else that can cause this type of reaction is hair dye. Now, many permanent as well as some semi-permanent hair dyes contain a chemical that's called PPD. This is a well-known irritant and allergen. Now, PPD is the most common cause of reaction to hair dye and darker colored dyes, so dyes that are black or brown, often contain higher levels of PPD. So a question that's often asked is, is PPD safe? Well, hair dyes that contain PPD are safe to use, providing safety instructions are followed. If you ignore the safety instructions that come with the dye, you could put yourself at risk of a serious reaction. Now, to try and avoid a reaction to hair dye, there are certain steps that you should try and follow. First of all, always carry out a patch test before using a permanent or semi-permanent hair dye, even if you're using your regular brand. Now, to do a patch test, this usually involves dabbing a small amount of dye solution behind your ear or on your inner elbow and leaving it to dry, and the instructions that come with the dye should explain in more detail what you need to do. Now, if you develop any irritation or feel unwell after the patch test, don't use the product. You could also have a patch test done at an allergy clinic to see if you're sensitive to any chemicals. Once you have this information, if you do have any allergies to certain chemicals, you can check product labels to try and avoid these irritants. Now, it's worth mentioning, however, that the clinic may not test all hair dye chemicals. Now, if you don't develop any reaction from the patch test, you can continue to use the dye, but make sure that you don't leave it on for longer than the recommended time. You wear gloves when you're applying the dye, you rinse your hair thoroughly afterwards, and you carefully follow instructions included in the pack. So now let's move on and discuss some of the potential signs and symptoms of a hair dye reaction. Well, reactions to hair dye range from mild irritation to the scalp to an allergic reaction that can potentially trigger serious symptoms throughout the whole body. First of all, let's start off by discussing a mild allergy. Well, a mild allergy might cause your scalp, neck, forehead, ears, or eyelids to become irritated and inflamed after using the hair dye. The skin that's been exposed to the dye may also become red, swollen, blistered, dry, and cracked. You may also feel a burning or stinging sensation. These symptoms will usually appear within 48 hours, although strong irritants may cause your skin to react immediately. Now, in rare cases, a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction can develop within minutes, and this is called an anaphylactic shock. And if you develop this, you're going to need to seek immediate medical attention. Now, potential symptoms of anaphylaxis include itchy skin or a raised red skin rash, very swollen eyes, lips, hands, or feet. The eyelids can also swell so much that the eyes can close, as you can see in this photo feeling lightheaded or fainting, swelling of the mouth, throat or tongue, which can cause breathing and swallowing difficulties, as well as severe wheezing. Now, if you think you're experiencing a reaction to hair dye, but it's not an emergency, try washing your hair and scalp thoroughly with a mild shampoo to remove any excess dye, as well as applying an emollient cream like Diprobase to the affected skin. If your skin is very red, sore and inflamed, you might need to try a topical steroid cream. However, you should only use this for the shortest amount of time possible because long-term use does carry potential side effects such as skin thinning. Medicines called antihistamines can also help to reduce skin inflammation and itching, and you can usually purchase these over the counter. Now, if you develop a reaction to hair dye, even just a mild one, you should stop using the products containing PPD altogether, as there's a risk you could develop a more severe reaction in the future. You could try switching to a safer alternative, such as non-permanent PPD-free hair dye, but it's also possible to maybe develop a reaction to this, so it's important just to be aware of this.
I've included lots more information on allergic reactions to hair dye in the description box and please do leave a comment if you'd like to share your own experiences with allergic reactions to hair dye or you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.